feels like 200 brake more. But, yeah, now. Wow, listen to the intake. Bro, the way it rotates on the rear. Can you hear this intake? It's an MST intake. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today you join me for a video on a 580 brake horsepower BMW M240i. And I know from the exterior she doesn't look too crazy but underneath the bonnet and the chassis itself is where things get really interesting. It's running a pure 800 turbocharger. The previous owner apparently spent 15 to 20 thousand pounds in parts alone. So guys as usual we're going to do a little walk around this time I'm not going to do POV, I'm going to mount the cameras like normal. If you do want to see a POV, maybe a nighttime video, just throw down a comment and I'll shoot that separately. So guys, enjoy! Right, so I'm going to do you a quick walk around before we hit the road. As you can see, it's a white BMW M240i on a 67 plate, which means a 2017 model. You can see upgraded diffuser. We've got upgraded carbon fiber lip. This is by Auto ID. I'm sure that's M Performance. We also have M Performance exhaust. We have the BBS CHR alloys, which are 18 inches all round, uh, sitting on Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tyres. So we've got brand new tyres. Clearly, the previous owner was very passionate to buy himself these expensive tires. We've got upgraded discs, upgraded pads, braided lines. Uh, this car is sitting on Bilstein B16 Damptronic coilovers, which means you can actually control them electronically inside the cabin using the BMW sports buttons. Uh, let me show you inside the cabin actually. You can see it's an LCI. We've got the black kidney grills. We've got the white crash bars, which have probably been painted by the previous owner. It's a low miler, 30 to 35,000 miles on the clock. Full service history, it was a private sale. You can see we've got an M3 style Alcantara steering wheel with functional M1 and M2 buttons. Never seen this done with any B58. I mean, there's probably loads of people that have done it, but I've personally not seen it done. We also got the 8-speed ZF gearbox, which has been stage three tuned by XHP. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think they did a shadow edition, but if they did, this probably would be one because you've got the gloss black grab handles, gloss black down here, iDrive, and we've also got the gloss black up on the dash. The seats are just like an M40. The car is a little bit more spacious because it's a two door coupe. You've got a bit more of a laid back position, but let me tell you guys, this car is ridiculous. 580 brake horsepower. This is all you could ever need for the road. Paired up with PS5 tires, you've got awesome traction, really quick spooling nature of the Pure 800. Obviously some of you remember my M4 uh, when I drove to Belgium to have the Pure turbos installed on mine. They were the Pure Stage 2 turbos. So the Pure 800 is obviously the M240 version. There's a few different variations. I think, I think there may even be another one after the Pure 800, but some of you will know there's a YouTuber called Luke who's running 730 horsepower with the same turbo. I think he runs ethanol, but I'm just trying to let you know the capability that these are well known to run 7 to 750, maybe even 800 like the Pure 800 title is but um yeah this is a nice conservative 580 horsepower not sure on the torque not sure on who's mapped the car as well he did mention it i'll try to remember when i get in the car i'll check my phone it only takes 99 octane no methanol no race maps no race fuel nothing guys just straight 99 run and you've got the full 580 brake horsepower real quick spooling turbos it's very exciting very explosive drive i'm just trying to think some other bits guys there's uh, up to 15 maybe 20 thousand pounds being spent on this car it's also had m four lower control arms. It's had all of the inserts, like the chassis inserts. It's going to have the under bracing and engine bracing. Uh, all you've got to do is head over to the website lfgames.com and you'll see the full specification. But um, you can see we've got the M Performance Splitter. We also have the M3 style mirrors. These are going to be auto ID. And um, yeah, man, guys, I know there's loads of more bits that I've missed. But as I say, head over to the website and you see the full specification. And of course, somebody will be winning this car this Sunday at 10.30 for literally £1.99. So yeah, let's hit the road and see what she's like to drive. So 
also guys just quickly going into the website to see how many bloody mods i've missed it's got a quave limited slip differential it's got williams performance downpipe diff inserts and rear subframe and we've also got the p3 uh, v3 gauge which has um, been installed in one of the air vents here all right everything into sport plus let's go we're even going to turn traction off man we don't play with traction immediately the wheels become so much heavier let's go uh no let's not go second lot like, when there's cars you need to be careful because this is yeah, <laughs> that's the first time i've tractioned off full acceleration bro i didn't even know what gear i was in like i just went flat in second and the rpm stayed at like 7k like through through <laughs> Let me, this car's fast. Wow, my God. So we got it in sport, which means it's obviously locked out the suspension. It's very, very stiff, but it's not crashing. Bro, I love how quick spooling this turbo is. It's a single turbo, obviously. But pure turbos, <laughs> pure turbos have obviously made their turbos better over the generations. And you gotta remember this whole pure turbo thing. Don't ever get confused, people. This pure turbo thing all started with Alpha, you know. Remember Alpha, the 74 year old? Flat. Bro, this car is. Like to think that that Audi RS3 was 550 and this is 580. Like you now think the RS3 was 400 brake. No joke. This feels like 200 brake more. Like yeah, now, bro. The steering feels so nice. Jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's the complete package. Everything you could ever dream of doing to an M240. Wow, man. It's a scary fast car, like seriously. It's very planted, but don't get me wrong, it can't, the car being rear wheel, you feel it wandering ever so slightly at the rear. Like this is the absolute, like you don't need more power than this, I promise you. You couldn't travel any faster than this. Wow. <laughs> Man, I love this car, you know that. So obviously the M4 lower control arms, I think it widens the track of the car. Wow, 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 wow. You've got to be very careful where you come on throttle because the spooling of these turbos, look at that. Oh, the brakes are awesome as well. <laughs> Look how quiet it is. Wow, listen to the intake. <laughs> Bro, the way it rotates on the rear. Can you hear this intake? It's an MST intake. <laughs> Can you hear that? I can't wait to do a POV on this. The intake noise is going to be mad. Oi. Yeah, I'm uh, very grateful to be able to drive these cars, knowing that I basically own them. I know that we're not out there shooting crazy videos, but you know what I love? I love the fact that I'm not at the tip of everyone's tongue right now. People like Ricky fell off and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm good people. As I say, like um, we're putting the work in. Like before, I used to wake up and it was like LNF. Bro, like when I say it was LNF, I'm talking it was right. Three videos a week. What have I done? Like, it's ignore the family, ignore my friends, ignore my body, ignore food, everything. Like, it was just pure, I can't even explain, man. Man wasn't living good, wasn't living good at all. Now I wake up, it's like training, family, and now the priority is LLF games, do you know what I mean? Make sure I've got those cars in. Yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to pay off, man. And it's just that inner peace, man, mentally. You need to be feeling good. Family's very important, guys, don't, don't, just, do not neglect the family, that's the word. Don't neglect the family, man. Just um, got to work hard, of course. But yeah, you don't want to do all that graft and then have no family, do you know what I mean? No. So yeah, what else to add? Um, I don't know, man. Obviously, guys, you know, the comfortable daily drivers, 
Um, these are, no, they're not electric. We've got electric uh, bolsters, so the bolsters actually like pump up and sort of hold you in a little bit better. Steering wheel's nice to hold on to. We've also got the M3 style uh, dual clutch paddles. But yeah, remember this car is up on the website, lfgames.com. You can win it for just $1.99. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do some some times now. Oi! Right, so what we'll do is, um, we will cruise and get the intake temps down a little bit, because we don't want that to affect the 100 to 200 times. So guys, we're gonna do a quick zero to 60, uh, 100 to 200 kilometers, I'm also gonna do a quarter of a mile. So we should be able to do all of those tests in like one run. So we'll obviously do two, maybe three runs to see the best of the three and then I'll tell you the times. As I say, it did just start raining ever so slightly, so the times probably will be affected. Ah, oh, interesting. So, um, first test, guys, was uh, 0 to 60 in 3.88 seconds wow i guess 4.2 so we had traction on and it was just completely filtering the power it was a shit pull off we did 0 to 60 3.88 we did uh 100 to 200 kilometers in 7.17 seconds and it completes the standing quarter mile in 11.63 seconds that is crazy that's probably the best it'll do that is probably the best results i'll get yeah i think we should leave it as that guys yeah i mean look one hit off the bat, I just pull it into sport. It is 0 to 60 in 3.88 seconds, 102 and 7.17. It will definitely do a faster um, 100 to 200 time. And uh, yeah, I mean, one eighth of a mile, 7.72, and standard quarter mile in uh, 11.63 seconds. I don't know what the trap speed is, but uh, yeah, guys, we're just having a little mess about it. So, so yeah, till next time.